Diageo is one of the largest drinks companies in the world with over 200 brands including Johnny Walker, Smirnoff, Baileys and Guinness. The company's stock is down 22% over the past year, prompting some investors to buy the dip, but is the stock undervalued? At the latest share price, Diageo has a market value just under $75 billion. There's $1.8 billion of cash on the balance sheet and $19 billion of debt, so the enterprise value is about $92 billion. Over the last 12 months, Diageo has reported $21.6 billion of revenue, $4.3 billion of net income and just under $3 billion of free cash flow. So Diageo's stock is now valued at 4.3 times revenue and 17 times earnings. That valuation is cheap for a company of Diageo's calibre. After all, this is a company whose brands can be traced back to the 17th century. Revenue continues to grow and Diageo returns capital in the form of dividends and share buybacks. Looking at a historical chart of Diageo's P.E. ratio, you can see that the current P.E. multiple is near the bottom of its historical range, and it's a similar story for the enterprise value to EBITDA ratio. In other words, Diageo is about as cheap as it's been for the last 12 years. But despite Diageo's blue chip status, there are some concerns around the business. Management issued a profit warning last year following weak sales in Latin America. That weakness was put down to cost of living pressures following the pandemic. But Diageo is dealing with a much bigger trend of lower alcohol consumption in developed markets. A report by Berenberg Research found that Gen Z are drinking 20% less than millennials, who in turn are drinking less than baby boomers and Gen Xers. These trends help explain Diageo's weak performance, with sales declining 0.6% in the first half of the year and operating margins dropping almost 2%. Of course, Diageo knows all of this, which is why the company has been growing its portfolio of zero and low alcohol drinks. But even so, management is cautious, expecting medium-term growth in the region of 5-7%. to Meanwhile, a simple discounted cash flow model that assumes revenue growth of 6%, a free cash flow margin of 18% and a discount rate of 10% suggests an expected investment return long term of only 6% per year. It's too early to write off the alcohol drinks market, but even after falling 22%, Diageo's stock is not as cheap as it looks. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I hold no position in Diageo's stock. To see more breakdowns and to see what stocks I'm buying for my own portfolio, make sure to visit my website at freeminutebreakdowns.com or follow the link in bio. Thank you for watching.